All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. That's who you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ, the proper names in the Hebrew tongue. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. Pretty much, um... Bringing out scriptures, prophesying, <laughs> constantly just prophesying, burning some early morning all through the spirit you have. But Shemuel was shy. These these people really think it's going to get better here in America. The Lord says He's bringing the mirth out of this place, all the fun, all of the partying, and all that. The Lord is taking that out of here. All right. Contrary to popular belief, this place is not going to bounce back, and we're going to get some scriptures just proving that. And I'm gonna wrap it up because I got the head out. You know. And may the Lord continue to bless the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. But let's get this. Ezekiel 7. You got, you got the Israelite. I mean, remember, remember, we came over here on cargo slave ships. You, you're the first ones fired. You're the last ones hired. No one respects you. You're at the bottom of the totem pole. You see, this place was set up for us not to get ahead. You see, this place was set up to, to go against us, man. We, we can't serve our power the right way over here in this wicked sinful kingdom. But you got Israelites still praying for this place, still voting. So, so uh, I'm going to vote for this uh, elected official this this year. Maybe it'll be better. Ezekiel 7 and 5. Thus saith the Lord. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh So this is thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Bible, right? And evil, meaning bad times. And only evil, meaning more bad times. Behold, it's coming. Like I'm looking at it. We wake up looking at the news. You know, that's all we do throughout the day, look at the news. Now, we have our little, little leisure time where we, you know, watch regular TV, maybe some sports, so forth and so on. But we, we're constantly watching the news. Some dude, you know what I'm saying, just got um, hit um, by his woman, domestic violence. You see? It's not going to change. It's look, evil and only evil. Behold, it's come. And end is coming, end of this age, and end of sleazy East Esau age. And it's going to go out by way of violence. The Lord is bringing the violence. While you still talking about God is all love, the God of the Bible is bringing violence, man. All right? Every time you say God is love, don't say he brings a storm. Every time you say God is love, he brings an earthquake. You see, every time you say God is love, he brings a plague, pestilences. You see? Every time you say God is love, he, he sent missiles from one continent to the other. Come on, man. And he, and end is coming. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is coming. We should be praying to the God of the Bible. We should be begging the Lord to hurry up and come. But before the Lord come, we got to get our houses in order. We got to get ourselves right. Put the idol worshiping down. Put the wickedness down because the Lord is on his way. Who you eagerly call Jesus, Yahweh Shai. He says he delivers. He's on his way. Let's get this. Still in the same chapter. Ezekiel 7, 25. That's why it says, blessed is he that readeth. Instead of listening to the pastor lying to you all day, you open up the Bible and read. It'll tell you what the Lord is coming to do. Ezekiel 7, 25. Destruction cometh, not love. Destruction cometh, not, not love fighting. Invasions, you see, sufferings, anxiety, mourning, destruction coming, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Read the scripture over and over and over and over and over again, and Jake still think it's going to be fun times, just because the spring is coming. What that, what that mean? That's the main time the Lord will bring destruction, Ezekiel 3 and 17. And we're supposed to give you water every day. Give him water, just like Noah. Noah gave him warning every day. The Lord gave him warning every day. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Just a quick little, little, quick little lesson. Ezekiel 3 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. Give them warning from the Lord, man. And that's, that's our only job. Our job is not to make you believe, you know. Our job is to give you warning from the God of the Bible. We, we prophesy, we're prophets. Of the Lord's servants of who you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ. And we're here to bring the water to you, man. All right? This is um, Jeremiah 28 and 8. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me 
and before the old prophesied. They told you what was going to happen before it even happened. So it won't no shocker. You see, it, it wasn't a big shocker. Because if you, if you get the warning and you don't take heed to the warning, look, it shouldn't be a shocker when it come. Only thing is, you just didn't take heed to the warning, right? But the warning has went out. It says they prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil, meaning bad times, and of pestilence. Is that not going on? It is not going to stop. That's the thing about it. It's not going to stop Israel. You see, it's not going to stop. You better open up that Bible and read it. Remember, none of these shall fail. Let's get this. First Thessalonians chapter 5. Oh, I mean, I know we sound like a broken record, but this is the truth. First Thessalonians chapter 5. Verse 3. It's gonna be it's gonna be a cold, cruel world when these prophecies really kick in the higher gear for you Israelites. They didn't take heed. Oh man, you're gonna suffer. You're gonna suffer out here. Starvation, cannibalism, you're gonna be getting chased by animals, you're gonna be getting chased by mobs of people, men and women trying to feast on you. It's gonna get bad out here for you Israelites. They didn't take heed real bad. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, for when they shall say, and once again, the Lord had me make a video last night saying pretty much your money would not be able to deliver you, your status, how many people you got on Instagram following you, all the followers that you got on Facebook, 800,000 followers, they're not going to be able to save you when all hell break loose. Hell, they're not even going to be able to save themselves. They're going to be trying to run for Calvary, man. They're going to be trying to get out of Dodge. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, but they're not going to be able to. For when they shall say peace and safety, there's sudden destruction. Sudden destruction is going to come upon you people, man. Mainly you Israelites. Because that's who you are. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yeah, the cat's out the bag. You're the Israelites. The cat is out the bag. You All of them know. All these celebrities, they know who the Hebrew Israelites are. Now, you can fight it all day, you know what I'm saying? But you're only fighting an uphill battle, which you can't win. Turn back, repent to the God of the Bible and tell the Lord that you're sorry for all your wickedness. Confess your faults and Lord willing, he'll have mercy on you. Because that's what we need to be praying for right about now, mercy. You see, instead of you praying for peace, which ain't coming, you need to pray for mercy. You see, beg the Lord, for then shall sudden destruction come upon them. As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Just like that woman is pregnant, can't avoid those birth pains. You people of the earth can't avoid the death and destruction that's going to come upon this place. Let's get Deuteronomy. And remember, the scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. We, look, we serve a true and living power. Who do, who do you serve? This is Deuteronomy 32. Deadly shooting outside Ohio's high school. It's going down, man. It ain't going to stop Deuteronomy 32. It's not going to stop Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 32, starting at verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. This is the Heavenly Father speaking, the Most High Yahweh. It's going down, man. Ah, boy, boy, boy. People getting kidnapped. Shit, never to be seen again. That's going down. Look, look, look. I kill. Look, the God of the Bible said there's no God with me. So ain't no such thing as Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, the Hindu God of Shiva. You Israelites are going to find that out the hard way. You have been warned. All the gods of these nations are idols. It's only one true and living power. The Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, right? You're going to find that out. I kill. And I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay? It's going to be a whole lot of Emmett Till soon come. Scattered throughout America and scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And you, you saw what happened to him. You see? You look, you saw what happened to him, man. The Lord said, there, there's no one that can deliver you out of my hands. You see? Let's get second Ezra's. We're going to get second Ezra's the eighth chapter. We're going to just go straight to it. 
Say it alone, Les. I got, I got to go. Second Ezra chapter 8. Let's see. I, I read three and I jump down. Nobody don't care nothing about no damn uh, Academy Award. Nobody don't care nothing about that, man. That's all Jake is into. This is nonsense. You need to, you need to be in what the Lord is talking about. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 3. There be many created, but few shall be saved, man. Few. Okay, it's all circus and bread, man. Few shall be saved, meaning enough destruction is coming. All right? That's the only thing you Israelites need to be worried about. The destruction is coming. Verse 50. And I'm reading straight out the Bible. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time misery is real. Let's, let's, let's get that definition. Let's get the definition right quick. It's going to say many great miseries is going to come upon you people, man. But it's 2022, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't care about the Bible no more because it's fairy tale, right? All right. Misery. 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 So now, a state or feeling of great distress or a com or a discomfort of mind and body. The Lord's going to take you out your comfort zone. The Lord's going to take you people out of your comfort zone. It ain't going to be no more grocery stores. So just, just know that. It ain't going to be no more food pantries, no more bread lines. No more soup kitchens. You see? No more shelters. The Lord's getting ready to do away with all that. And you're going to be on your own. You have to defend for yourself. For real, for real, man. You see? Unhappiness, distress, hardship. That's what's coming to everybody on the face of the earth. Right? Everybody. The Snoop Doggy Dogs. You know what I'm saying? The uh, Wayne Brady's. All of them, man. Mainly you Israelites too, man. Hell, Pat of the Bell, if she's still alive, the, um, the Oprah's. Man, man, come on, man. The only one that's going to make it through this definite structure is the elect of the nation of Israel, right? It says hardship. You people are going to be losing your jobs. You're going you're gonna to lose that damn money that you get from the internet, from the YouTube. All, all that's going to crash, man. The internet is, the Lord going to take the internet down, all that. And you can read the rest of the definition. Let me finish reading the rest of the scripture. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride. And you see, the majority of these people on the face of the earth are very proud. And pride go up before destruction and a hearty spirit before fall. We all, we all know that. You know, hold, hold that energy, you know what I'm saying, when death and destruction come. Keep that same energy. Oh, you're still in 2nd Ezra. Let's go to the 7th chapter. And I'm about to wrap it up. I got to go. 2nd Ezra chapter 7. Verse 20. I just read verse 20. 2nd Ezra chapter 7 verse 20. And it reads, For there be many that perish in this life, in this generation. A whole lot of people are going to perish. The Lord is going to consume you. He's going to destroy you. Many of you Israelites. Because this word is for you. You have been warned. For, for there be many that perish in this life because they, because they despise the words of the Most High. They despise this word, right? They don't want no parts of it because they live in their best life right about now, right? Because they despise the law of the Most High, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh that is set before them because they're listening to the pastor and the pastor tell them that the laws are done away with. But he still wants your money though, right? You see? The pastor said that the laws are done away with, but look, he, he still wants your money, don't he? He, he still wants your money, Israel. But oh yeah, the laws are done away with, but he wants your money. That don't make no sense. Whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. Just know that, Israel. Let's see. My, my closing scripture. Let's get Daniel, the 12th chapter. I'm going to end it off on this. I got a roll. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time, and at that time shall Michael shall, shall stand up. I'm going to read it again. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. Let's click on it. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, and it reads, And at that time shall Michael, the head archangel up on the Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the English called Jesus, Stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people. 
and there shall be a time of trouble, Jacob's trouble, when all hell break loose, man. Jacob represents you Israelites, us, a time of Jacob's trouble, right? Such Look, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. So, so they ain't never got this bad before. This is what the Lord is saying. That's why the Lord no says commanded, uh, commanded Israel to repent, but only the elect is going to repent. You see, so it's gonna, look, the time, it's going to get so bad they ain't never got this bad before Israel. You see, what are you going to do when this thing pop off? And at that time, thy people, the elect of the nation of Israel, shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, man. So if you're not part of that number, you threw out here. No help whatsoever. These heathen nations can't stand you anyway. So they most definitely ain't going to give you no food. They're not going to give you or your babies or your wife no food. Just know that. You saw what happened in, um, what was it, Louisiana? When, 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 it, when it started flooding down there? You, you saw what happened, right? They pulled out them things. They say anything darker than a round piece of bag, paper bag, you know what I'm saying, going to get blown, they top blown off if they come across this water. You see? So you already see, you saw right there that these nations didn't care nothing about you, man. Okay? So you have been one that ain't going to beat a dead horse. You, you can't avoid it, man. Shalom.